you guys did a wonderful job. Daughter, thank you for lending us your beautiful voice. I wish you'd do it more often, Lord, in Jesus' name. Work it out, Lord. Thank God for the musicians. Brother Buckles had to run and leave. He'll be with us full time here in a couple of weeks. God can work it out. I want to thank my man of God over here, the maestro, Minister Darius. He's been a little under the weather. Y'all keep him in prayer. We're going to pray for him today. He was supposed to stay home in bed, but he went on Facebook Live and started looking at the service. And I see he got his ride and dive buddy to go pick him up and bring him to church after we told him to stay home. That's all right, though. You, got, you came here because, God, we're going to pray for you today. Yes, we are. I want to thank God for the volunteers that came out early this morning. I pulled up here at 8 o'clock this morning, and it was parking lot was full of folk here to help us get set up in the new spot because we didn't get a dry run like we wanted to with the PA system and stuff. But God worked it out for us um, uh, to get it all done. So I want to thank you all for coming out today. And most of all, I want to thank God for my wife. Amen. The, the number one chocolate bunny. Y'all know what she means to me. That's my girl right there. Oh, yeah. Y'all love her, but I do too. That's my girl right there. Yes, yes, yes. So, is everybody ready for communion? All right, I'll give you a few more minutes. I want to thank God for all the visitors that came out today. Appreciate you coming out. Everybody got one? Anybody need one? Raise your hand. I know you're hungry, you want your wafer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read a scripture to you. Luke, the 22nd chapter, the 19th and the 20th verse. You don't have to turn to it, I'm just gonna read it. Taking bread, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, this is my body given for you eat in my memory. He did the same with the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant written in my blood, blood poured out for you. We all know that this is one of the oldest traditions of the church. Um, this modern church here don't take it as serious as the early church did. The early church, they never gathered without communion. Never. Anytime they gathered together, whether if it was just praise and worship rehearsal, Communion was so important to them and they took it at that time because they actually believed that doing the prayer over the communion vial, over the, over the wine and over the bread, that it actually turned into the actual body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And they believed that they were devouring him and they wanted Jesus to devour their life. And that's how serious it was for them. Father, I pray yet now in the name of Jesus that you bless us, encourage us, and strengthen us, O oh God. As we yet, Lamb of God, prepare, Lamb of God, to take your blood and your body. Father, we pray yet even now that you bless us and encourage us, strengthen us, make it nourishment unto our body. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I ask you now to take your cup, pull your bread out. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I ask you at this time that you take your cup, you hold it up, and you drink the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Have your seat for a minute. I'm going to say a few words. And I'm going to pray for a couple of people. God is doing a new thing for us here at Shekinah Glory. God has really blessed us this year since January. We've, we, 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 we've actually doubled in size yeah. on our Sunday morning service. We thank and praise God for it. We kicked off a beautiful Bible study on relationship. It went 14 weeks or 14 lessons, and it just changed a lot of people's lives and brought a lot of people into the house of God, and we thank God for it. But I want to let you know we've got a long way to go. Yes, In January, we're going to have a church vision meeting in January. We're going to set it up and probably going to have it at um, we, we may, if we do it on a, we probably do it on a Saturday, so we may end up having it here, 
Because we, if, if anybody remembers when before we started the church, we actually used this facility when we did our meet and greets to actually, we did this meet and greets for about six months and we used this facility. So if we don't do it at the Aliante Library, we may come back here and actually do it. And in that meeting there, I'm gonna talk about my vision and I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna call a project, I'm gonna call Project 2020. And what it is, is in the year 2020, we wanna be moving into our own spot, whether it's in a long-term lease to buy or our own church facility that we just go out and buy. So I'm gonna I'm put a plan together and I'm gonna um, bring it before you guys and we're gonna have a couple of people come up and give some testimonies about some things that um, have happened in their life financially and bless them and so we're going to just lay out the plan for you so you can see where we're going, so you can see what we're doing. We're also going to talk about the past year, talk about the money. We're going to talk about where your money went, what did your money buy, what did, what did the church use your, your tithes and your offering for, and where we're going. I want, you to, I want to be very revealing and let people know and be upfront and let people see where we're at as a church financially and where we're trying to go because I keep trying to re remind people and take tithes and offering to keep the doors open, but that's all it does is keep the door open. And it don't allow you to do anything else. When we were buying this marketing material, I was like, hold on, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Just keep it in the computer. <laughs> Let me see what the offering is on Sunday. <laughs> Some, a lot of it we was able to take this, go on, go on and get it and send it and believe God by faith and this and that. But um, I was like, you know, we took those $50 envelopes up and when I went to counting those $50 envelopes, I said, this, this don't add up to the whole thing. We gonna have to do this in piecemeal. <laughs> But it takes, it, takes, it takes finances to move vision. And I want to be, I, I believe that when a church can be forthcoming and show people where their money's going, people see that they're not they're just giving to a whole. We don't take a salary. Um, at the, you know, God has, 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 has seen fit that we don't have to take a salary at this time here because we want the house blessed. We want to be able to move the church forward. We want the church to grow and move forward. There'll come a time and a place for all of that later on. All right, amen.